In today's video, I'm gonna help you solve your problem of not knowing what to make for Easter, Sunday, or really anytime you're craving something sweet, so stay tuned. Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. I want you to let me know in the comments below. For Easter, do you host at your house and you cook everything? Do you gather at someone else's house and everyone is assigned a dish? Let me know in the comments below. Or do you just go out to eat? But anyway, today is a collaboration with my friend Christy over at Christy's Farmhouse and we put together a playlist of a bunch of YouTube creators that are coming together to provide you with a ton of meal ideas, recipe ideas for your Easter Sunday. And what I have for you are two delicious dessert recipes that you will definitely want to try one or the other or both and they will definitely be crowd pleasers. So let's go ahead and get started. To make this brownie bundt cake, the ingredients that you will need are a brownie mix, and I'm using the Ghirardelli triple fudge, I think, or double fudge, a cake mix, four eggs, a cup and a half of milk, and a cup of melted butter, and then for the icing, you can use whatever icing you wanna use, but I chose to use the whipped buttercream by Betty Crocker. Large bowl, you are going to put the brownie mix, and I used the chocolate fudge, you add the cake mix, then you add your four eggs, your cup and a half of milk, your cup of melted butter, and then you are going to mix it with a um, mixer for about two to three minutes. And then you're gonna put it in to a, um, a bunt pan that's been greased. I'll make sure to leave a link to this cake in the description box, um, but you are gonna make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees and cook for about 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. I'm just using the canned uh, whipped buttercream icing and I'm dividing it into three bowls because I want to put a different color of food, gel, food coloring gel in each one just to make it more Eastery. And once I've mixed everything up or once I've mixed the colors and kind of gotten the colors how I want them, I thought I filmed this, but I um, put each color into a Ziploc bag and that's how I'm going to, you know, ice the, or pour the drizzle of um, icing on the cake. The recipe has instructions on how to make a ganache for the top, but I wanted it to look Eastery. When the cake comes out of the oven, you want to let it cool for about 10 or 15 minutes in the bundt pan and then let it cool completely on the um, cooling rack. And once it's cooled completely, I just pour the little icing onto the cake and that's about it. Pretty easy. thought these colors looked so pretty and so springy and this cake was really good without being too overly sweet so this is definitely a crowd pleaser I want to take a minute to tell you a little bit about Christy on her channel she has a lot of cooking recipes but she also has cleaning motivation and she is a mom of two little girls and you will love her channel um, she also she and her husband 
um, live on a farm. And so she does some farm videos as well. And you guys, she is so close to a thousand subscribers. So go over to her channel when you finish this video, show her a little bit of love and subscribe to her channel. I promise you will not be disappointed. Now on to the next recipe. I am making an apple cinnamon crumble. And this is something that I kind of came up with on the fly when I was at Target one day. I saw this cinnamon streusel muffin mix and I had to get it because I just imagined it in my mind with some apple pie filling. So I bought some apple pie filling as well. And so you only need these three ingredients. I just sprayed my dish with some cooking spray and I'm gonna put the um, can of apple pie filling into the dish, into the casserole dish. And once, once I got it in there, I, I, the, the apple slices are kind of big and I really don't like them like this. I like them more in little bite-sized pieces. So after I got all the apples in there, I just took a knife and just kind of went through and cut up the apples into smaller size pieces as best as I could. Now some people may look at this as more of a fall recipe, but to make it more spring, you could use cherries or blueberries, but I just really like apples. So anyway, once your apples are in the casserole dish, you take the, this is the streusel topping, but you take the um, muffin topping and, or muffin mix, and you just pour it on top of the apples and spread it out as evenly as possible. I actually didn't use the entire bag. I probably could have got away with actually making this into two recipes or using a bigger um, casserole dish, but I only had the one container or one can of apples. But anyway, just get the um, muffin mix spread out evenly and then you are going to take the butter and slice the butter into little, you know, little um, pieces and place the little butter slices on top of the muffin mix. I do want to remind you to make sure that you check out the playlist that I'm going to have in my description box because there are a lot of people that have contributed to this collaboration and you're not going to want to miss any of their videos. Um, now that I have my butter on top, I just use the streusel topping and cover the butter. I have my oven already preheated to 350 degrees. So you are going to cook this in a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. All right, it cooked for about 45 minutes. And of course it all depends on your oven, but this did cook for about 45 minutes. So now, who can eat cobbler or crumble without a scoop of vanilla ice cream? And our favorite is Bluebell Homemade Vanilla. So I put a big scoop of vanilla ice cream, and then of course I used caramel drizzle, and I drizzled it on top. And you guys, I'm serious. This was so delicious. Thank Christy for co-hosting this collaboration with me. Make sure you go visit her channel because she's awesome. You're gonna love her. And don't forget to check out the playlist that I'm gonna have in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, I really do appreciate you stopping by. If you like shopping hauls, cooking videos, home decor, and home organization, then I would love it if you would become a part of my YouTube family. Click the subscribe button, click the bell button, and everyone give this video a big thumbs up because it does help me out with YouTube. And if you want more cooking motivation, then make sure to click on the box you see now, and I will see you next time. Bye.